something Let's you've go. got to understand that you got it made right now. Yeah. and you should be uh, happy uh. as fuck. What's up my hippies? It's me, Emily, and today we're gonna be trying some vegan food. Happy 2020. This is my first video that I'm filming in 2020. It'll be my second upload of the year. I figured a perfect way to start off my new year in 2020 would be to try some vegan products that I have not tried before, because let's be real. Too often we stick to the same things and we don't get a chance to be adventurous and try new things. So I really wanna challenge myself in this video to try Try some things that I've been scared to try. So I have three vegan products that I have seen in the stores and I have been a little bit intimidated by and today we're going to give them a try. Alright, so the first vegan product I have is the Tofurky Burger. Oh my god guys, do you see this? Do you see this box right here? I've seen this on Instagram for so long and I finally found it in one of my stores and I'm so excited. If you guys have had Tofurky before, you kind of know the, the signature Tofurky taste and I'm kind of worried that this burger is going to have too much of that signature Tofurky taste. Not that I don't like it, I eat a Tofurky roast every single year for Thanksgiving so Thank you Tofurky for making some awesome food. I'm not here to bash Tofurky, but you know how like Daya has that weird aftertaste? Tofurky has a similar thing. I'm sorry Daya. I do buy your products if I have to. I just, you're not my first option. Okay, okay. Now that we got that on the table, we're good. Okay, um, I've tried the Beyond Burger, I've tried the Impossible Burger, um, I've tried lots of different vegan burgers, and I'm curious to see how this one compares to those. I have dressed this with my favorite cheese. It is the Chow Cheese by Field Roast. It's one of my favorite cheeses to have on a burger. And I have also put some sriracha on it because ya girl needs something, okay? I need something to make this a little tasty. Now, I don't have a bun because it's 2020. I'm trying to watch the figure a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go bunless. Um, it's a Nike boy right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of just the burger without anything on it and give it a try and see what I think. And then we'll try it with all the good stuff on it. Ooh, it smells kind of weird. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with the cheese and stuff. Wow, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I have to take another bite because it's actually really, really good. <laughs> mm. Well, I cleaned my entire plate. It was actually really, really, really good. Okay, thoughts. In each package of the Tofurky burger, you get two burgers, and I think this was about, I wanna say about $6. So it's a lot cheaper than buying the Beyond Burger. The Beyond Burger goes for about eight to nine dollars for two patties. Was this the closest thing that I've had to real meat? No. Was it really, really good in flavor? Yes, it had a great texture to it, very like chewy. It didn't occur to me before, but you know, the brand is called Tofurky, which kind of is a play on tofu and turkey. I would say that that tasted more like a turkey burger than a beef burger, and that makes complete sense now because it's coming from Tofurky. But my brain just now put two and two together. It's a good substitute for a turkey burger. If you're looking for like the beefy, meaty flavor that the Beyond Burger gives you, it's not gonna be anything like that. That, but it was good in itself as its own product not comparing it to anything else it was actually really good I think I'm actually gonna purchase this over the Beyond Burger when I'm craving burgers because it's cheaper and it still tastes really really good I like this this is a win I would rate this 10 out of 10 that's amazing it takes a lot for me to rate something that high this was absolutely amazing I don't know why I was so scared of it if you're wondering, it did have that tofurkey taste, but it worked really well together. It worked so well together. Oh, I want another one already. All right, guys, this is the one that scares me um, second most. I'm actually going on a date in a couple of hours, and we're going to have Indian food, and I've never had Indian food before, so 
I'm a little bit nervous. I have only had curry like one time and that was just trying a bite of someone else's curry and I wasn't a huge fan. Um, but I know that curry is not the only dish that is involved in Indian food. They have other dishes. Don't laugh at me, okay? I'm just doing a little taste test to get myself familiar with the flavors of Indian food. But I picked up this Amy's Indian inspired frozen dinner and this is called vegetable korma. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. This was the only thing besides curry that was vegan from the Indian line and I figured I may as well try it out. Like there's rice, there's lentils, there's vegetables, there's spices. What's not to like about it? I'm not a huge fan of curry so I really hope this doesn't taste like curry, but if it does, then I will know to kind of maybe get something else when I go out to eat. I don't want to sit here and say that this is a good representation of Indian food, so I don't mean to say that this is classic Indian food. It's just for me to try and get a taste for. It, it doesn't look the best. I'm sure that if I were to eat somewhere that actually has Indian food or someone who makes it homemade, it would taste a lot better than this. But the idea is to kind of get the flavors in my mouth and try them out and see if I like them. So please don't be offended that I'm trying the Amy's version. I am about to go to an Indian restaurant and I will get to try real Indian food, but I wanna make sure that I'm gonna like it first, you know? So this is the vegetables right here, vegetable korma. It smells interesting. It kind of smells like cinnamon. I don't really prefer cinnamon in my food, but we're gonna give it a try. You know, like why not? Okay, I think there is cinnamon in here. But you know what? It's not bad at all. It kind of has like a Moroccan feel to it. I've had Moroccan food. I don't know if Moroccan and Indian food are closely related, but this has like a taste of Moroccan food. I'm gonna move to the rice. The rice reminds me of um, Mediterranean rice, the yellow rice that you get in Mediterranean restaurants. So I'm curious to see if it's the same flavor or not. Honestly, it's really good. I don't know why I haven't tried this before. I like that. I really like the rice. The rice is really, really, really good. It's so good. There's like little naked cashews in it. Like look at this little naked cashew. He's so cute. <laughs> so next, the big green brownish stuff right here is lentils. And I already know that I like lentils a lot, but we're gonna go ahead and try the Indian version of the lentils. Really good. Oh yeah. Always a lentil girl. That's really good. Like I said, that's probably not the best representation of Indian food, but it was something fast and quick that I could try and get like a feel for the flavors. And I actually was pleasantly surprised. I think my favorite thing from that dish was the rice. It has like this zesty, like lemony flavor. I don't really know what what seasoning or spice it is. It could just be lemon, but it has like a tartness to it. I really liked it. I really enjoyed that. I'll probably purchase that again if I'm being lazy and I'm craving Indian food. I'm gonna rate this about a seven out of 10. Okay, the last thing is something that has scared me for many years. I don't know why. It's actually kimchi. <laughs> I have never had kimchi in my whole life. I've never ever ever had a kimchi now if you know Kimchi is usually made with fish or like some kind of fish sauce and I Never liked fish. So maybe that's why I never ate kimchi, but I found a vegan one at Target and you know I'm curious. I'm a curious cookie and yeah, I, I know that like sauerkraut and kimchi and like pickled stuff can be really good for your health. It's like basically, oh it's bubbling. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Do you hear that? Is it supposed to do that? I'm so scared right now. Like my kimchi is literally alive. This is why I was scared of this over anything else. I was not expecting it to bubble. Nobody warned me. Why did nobody warn me about kimchi bubbling when you open it? I love Asian food and Japanese food. I love stuff like that. Um, this is just something that I, I don't know if I'm gonna like. I can smell it and it doesn't smell very good. I'm not trying to be rude. We all have different preferences, different taste buds. So 
please don't judge me if I don't like this or if it's not my preference. It smells really spicy. Okay, basically what kimchi is, is it's like pickled cabbage and vegetables. So it can't be that bad. I think I'm just making a big deal out of it because it was, it was bubbling and that kind of freaks me out. So we're gonna give it a little try. Oh. oh, well, hold on. There was a lot of flavors in there. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> I didn't even have time to catch up. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna try this big, this really big piece here. I wanna get to like some of the other stuff that's in here. Why am I so scared? I already ate it. It's not terrible. I kind of just don't have any words to describe it. Now this is the only brand of kimchi that I've tried. I don't know if every single brand is the same or tastes the same. I'm sure they all taste different. It's like fizzy. So like when you're eating it, like whatever is making it like bubble and fizz, like that kind of goes on in your mouth. And I don't know if I like that. Another thing that I don't really prefer about it is the texture. This is cabbage that's pickled. When you soak it in vinegar and spices, it's just gonna sit there and soak all of that up and become soggy so there are crunchy bits in there crunchy bits of the cabbage but you also get like really soggy bits of cabbage as well and I don't know if that's a texture that I really like that much the flavor of it was not bad so it has a very strong chili powder taste to it really good flavor so yeah the things I didn't like about it were the fact that it was cold cabbage that was fizzy and a little bit soggy but I did like the flavor the flavor was really good I will probably think of something to eat this with. I'm sure it's not a main dish on its own. I think you eat it as kind of like a side dish. And maybe I'll have to do some research on what to eat kimchi with. And maybe I'll enjoy it a little bit more then. But I don't know if it was something that I would ever purchase again. I'm going to rate this a 4 out of 10. We did it. I tried three things that terrified me and I liked two out of three of them. I think the Tofurky burger was my favorite. I'm really proud of myself. I am extremely proud that I got to try a few items that kind of made me feel uneasy and I conquered that. It's something that I want to do from here on out. Since I went vegan, I've experimented with different flavors, different cultures, and I have found that I really love Mediterranean food, Asian food, so I'm really excited that I can maybe add Indian food in there as well. But anyways, I'm really proud of myself for trying these. If you know what to eat kimchi with, please let me know down below because I've never had it before. I don't know what to eat it with, and I would like some suggestions on that as well. Is there food out there that scares you to try if so let me know down below I'm curious to find out what scares you and if you would be willing to try it if you had the opportunity I do appreciate you guys being here I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I put out new videos every Friday I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you in the next one goodbye